Caroline Skelton and I'm in the Lake District with Go Outdoors and Northridge. Today I'm going to take you on my greatest day outdoors. This little camera is going to make sure that you can see what I can see so you can get the best of the views without even having to do the hike. Now, I am a big believer you can start every day with some fresh air, take in some greenery and you'll be good to go. You know, I often get asked why do I enjoy the great outdoors? Why do I enjoy nature? Why do I come out? in a challenging landscape, in the rain and the cold. And I can't say that it's one thing. I can't say that there's one reason for it. I think for me, I enjoy the challenge. I enjoy feeling the burn in my lungs and the burn in my legs. I think it feels like a reward going to the top of a hill. It's hard work getting there, but when you get up there and there's a view, you feel like you've earned it. And you know, for me, after having spent the day in a landscape like this, you sleep better and you eat better because you've, you have literally earned it, like mentally and physically. And there's something very humbling about this landscape as well. I mean, look at that. The views are just insane. One of the reasons that I enjoy spending time outdoors is that it is very, humbling it's very grounding because you know I can't control the weather I can't control what mother nature is going to do so if there's a storm or if there's bad weather you just have to roll with it you've got to be flexible you've got to adapt and I think they're really good lessons for life you know sometimes in life you find yourself in a storm that you don't really want to be in but if you keep moving forward keep recognizing the positive bits of any journey you'll find a way to come out the other side and they're lessons that you can learn by getting stuck into the great outdoors. You know, you might go on a walk and get lost, but ultimately you'll work it out. You might go on a hike and get caught in a crazy storm, but you'll get through it. Hello. Hello. I was very lucky to be born and brought up on a farm on the edge of the Lake District in the Eden Valley. My childhood was, you know, playing in fields, playing on fells, mucking about with cows and sheep and, you know, playing in the river and building dens and climbing trees. And it's definitely made me the person that I am. It's definitely made me appreciate a space like this. You know, I recognise that being among greenery and being outdoors and getting muddy and cold and wet and feeling out of breath makes me feel good. And it's probably taken me, well, no, actually, I've always realized that that's what keeps my head in check. That is what is good for me. So I really try to do more of it. I think that like anybody, when you've got a job and you've got kids and you've been pulled in a million directions, you probably don't do it enough. But that's just life, isn't it? You know, and I think it's important to carve out bits of real life and fun life and a life that puts a smile on your face. I would love my kids to have a fraction of what I had as a kid. I think that my kids are happier when they're outside. They're better behaved when they've played out and they've got muddy and wet and cold and dirty and all the rest of it. And that's why I'm desperate that they have an outdoorsy childhood. You know, and they're normal kids, so they want to watch YouTube and they want to play on computer games because they're kids in 2022 with classmates and friends. But I'm determined to give them some of these experiences because I think they've been good for me. I know they'll be good for you and I hope they'll be good for my kids. I'm definitely an advocate of getting stuck into the great outdoors. I've been very lucky over the years to try lots of different things, paddleboarding, kayaking, climbing, gill scrambling, mountain biking. There are so many things that you can do. Hiking is probably the easiest because you need good shoes. You don't have to have expensive boots. You know, Northridge do some really good boots that are gonna keep you safe. And that's what it's about. You just want some ankle support to keep yourself safe. But, you know, the good thing about walking is you hardly need anything. 
a good jacket, a waterproof, you're going to hang out in the Lake District, a jacket with a bit of insulation, a backpack to keep your stuff in, and other than that, just a positive attitude and some water, maybe a few jelly sweets. One of my favourite things to do in the lakes is to swim. I've got a paddle board and an inflatable kayak and you know, I often take my kids out on the board, they've got their life jackets on and they jump off and swim around and splash around and you know, they are some of my most treasured memories already. You know, seeing the kids play in the lakes that I played in as a kid, seeing the kids cut about on mountain fells that I played on as a kid. So yeah, I feel very lucky that my kids get a snippet of the childhood that I had and I want them to have a lot more of it. I'm very grateful for the career that I've had. I've somehow managed to spend a lot of years making telly in landscapes like this, you know. This is work for me, exploring amazing parts of the UK, doing mad challenges. You know, Blue Peter, country fowl on the farm. <sighs> All of the various different programmes that I've done and made and been a part of. A lot of them involve me getting stuck into landscapes like this. So I'm very grateful for that. But it's really made me realise how much I enjoy it and what I get out of it. There is no better feeling than reaching the summit of whatever mountain it is you're climbing. And when you get to the top, taking the views, take a big deep breath, have a cup of tea, whatever, just take a moment to take it all in and appreciate what you've done. But you don't have to climb a massive mountain to enjoy nature, it's all relative. You don't have to swim across a lake, head to your local park, head on a trail, just get yourself moving and get some fresh air into your lungs. If you want some new kit, the whole of the Northridge collection is available at Go Outdoors, so get stuck in. But thanks for your company. I hope this has inspired you to get out and about and whatever you're doing, enjoy yourself. Bye.